live and actually on camera. On camera. Well, yeah. hello there. Now I can kill this music. <laughs> Unless you just want to jam for a pretty second. badass. I like that it's on like a four chord loop. No, look, there's some variation. There's some variation in there. I didn't know it kept going. It's it's actually like four minutes long. Well, I should probably stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not that good. Yeah. It's, it's not, not four good. minutes good. And it's like the <laughs> it's new like, kind of country. Yeah. Like I, I want to like rap about meth addictions. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Trailer you, park rap problems. used to be about, you know, trucks and mama yeah. and getting drunk. But now it's about no. meth addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's a, oh, I heard I heard one the other day. It was a, I I, I, I to got say. addicted to math, and then I got a wife ten times too hot for me, yeah. and then. <laughs> but now she's on meth too. So it yeah, matter. I got that bitch on meth. <laughs> Step two: Step get two. the bitch on meth. <laughs> Step one. I don't know. Get the, First, you got to get on meth and score meth. the yeah. girl ten times too hot for you. Knowing. Yeah. what they were doing yeah, happening yeah, there. Yeah. So they weren't like yeah. going out searching for that as far as I know. It and, sucks uh, because, you know, God forbid something happens to Leah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting right back into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right back into the drug I'm going to die of yeah. fentanyl, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be selling, you're be selling Fuck that. Fuck the knives. <laughs> slinging that Chinese stuff after that. <laughs> Crossing the border. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start transporting <laughs> legal immigrants here pretty soon. I hear Man, some, it sounds some money profitable, in doesn't it? I it, mean, it's good more Lord. profitable than the knife business. As long as you avoid, that's for sure. As long as you avoid Texas, yeah, you should be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they passed some new laws that make <laughs> so, that not. So what I want to do is is traffic illegals. Yeah, yeah. You know, through New Mexico, right, right, right. But my home address is in Texas. There you go. There <laughs> because, you go. There you go. You know. <laughs> so do you think there might be a way that, that just so we don't add to the problem? I mean, I don't want to add to the problem. I just want to make some money. So is there a way that maybe we can start importing some and then figure out a way to make them go back? Nice. And then, nice. And then you know, we just, so we get them in, get the money. <laughs> get them over you here. Know. You know, it's not that great here. No. I could take you home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, think about it. For we, a small fee. <laughs> we, we could take We could take the money that they're given by the government when they get here. Right. And the cell phones. Oh, we can man. sell the cell phones online. That's true. Send them back and just do it all over again. It's an infinite, until Trump gets Damn. reelected. It's Trade those infinite. cell phones for some fentanyl. Yeah. We could make some That's serious, I'm about. We could make some serious <laughs> money before January 20th of next year. All cash money. Yeah, tax cash free. Money. Yes. <laughs> tax free. Taxpayer well, funded well, tax well, free. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. I think we're on to something. So we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the best of ideas. Uh, we got a comment. He says, right. good money in doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would imagine there's great money in doing that. Yeah. Well, as a knife maker, the good thing, yeah. you know, as a knife maker, you're blessed because almost every job pays more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, I could can, literally it, work at Dunkin' it, Donuts and pull it's, more it's money. It's hard to go backwards. It's hard to go backwards. Yeah. It's like, I guess if this doesn't work out, I'll have to actually do yeah. something that works. I really have to look around yeah. for something I can make at home that's less profitable yeah. and get you shadow banned quicker. So shout out shout out to Allison in the other room. Uh, I, I've decided we, we may have to do what she's doing. Yeah. On the side, what is her that? and her daughter made a little business on Etsy where they make... They fold little pieces of ribbon and put them together and make roses out of them. And oh. then put these things together to make bouquets. Well, that's cool. And I wasn't ever they, gifted they, one. Oh, man. Let me tell Seems you. Seems like. Valentine's Day, they were killing it. Yeah? They were killing it. That's good. That made me rethink this whole knife business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw like, cutlery. I could, I could fold some damn flowers, man. I could. I could I, my fingers work to yeah. this week anyway, you know. Well. No gout this week. I think we can uh, we can fold some damn fold flowers. Some flowers. There we go. There yeah. we go. So, uh, enough of our money making schemes. Yeah. I guess we'll yeah. have to we'll have to settle for talking about yeah. Talking back about to the knives. grind. <laughs> back to the grind. Literal <laughs> the literal grind. <laughs> and uh, speaking of the literal grind, and and, and our normal uh, every week. Uh, we have to talk about something that I screwed up to make you look good. Oh, there we go. Uh, like so we this. did screw up something last week. Uh-oh. Uh, the machetes did not make Fiddleback Friday on time. Okay. Uh, 
Well, I didn't make any. I mean, I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming anybody, but it's Allison's fault. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, and it's you know. I don't want to blame. But I'm going to say credit. You know, it 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 falls on me in the end. Yeah. So it was it was totally my fault. They didn't make it, but they are on the site right now. Uh, They were actually on the site. I think Saturday is when I figured out they were missing. So go to the site and pick up a beautiful fiddleback twelve inch machete. Did you address the the Canadian fellow with the one that was bent. No, I looked. I looked at the photos again that he had sent. I haven't. I haven't talked. I haven't reached, had a chance to reach out yet. Um, that's just me not taking the opportunity to reach out mm-hmm. more than him. Um, and it's it's not it's not dramatic. It's like looking down a sixteen inch and it's barely curved. I think the issue. So all right, let me back up. I was watching something the other day. You know Theo Vaughn, the comedian Theo Vaughn. Okay. He's from Louisiana. All right. So you would love him if you, yeah. I'm sure, I'm 100% sure you've heard his stuff before. I'm from Louisiana too. For, right. For y'all so that don't know. For all gonna, y'all that, be don't, that don't know, yeah. I'm from Louisiana, yes. from Rain. He, he is. That's right. Shout out to Rain, Louisiana and yeah, he, Crowley and Lafayette. He's, and he's down home Louisiana Broke boy. Ridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mullet and everything. I mean, he's. A mullet. Hmm. Yeah. You, I mean, you may need to. I got I got to mull it out. Kind of party in the back, man. You need to, you need to, Leah, if you're listening, Leah, tell us what you think of Leah, the mullet. Leah, I'm gonna idea. get a mullet. It's gonna so, go with my new um, <laughs> physique. So, so, <laughs> so, so, Theo Vaughn. This has been on my mind a lot lately for whatever reason. I don't know, but um, Theo Vaughn had on Tony Robbins. You remember Tony Robbins? Mm-hmm. Love Tony Robbins. He's great. Anyway, uh, had him on there, and and Theo Vaughn was like, "Hey." I don't, I don't know why everything's going, you know, like I have a hard time admitting when things are going well. Or he was talking about something like one of his mental health issues, right? Right. And Tony Robbins was like, well, do me a favor. He's like, look around the room right now and tell me everything you see that's the color red. He's like, I'll give you a second. So Theo Vaughn looks around the room and he goes, okay. And he goes, all right, tell me everything you saw that was brown. And Theo was like, I... I like couldn't name anything. He's like, right. But you could tell me, he goes, and, and you probably cheated a little and anything that was burgundy, you were like, yeah, that's red. Cause you're going to take credit for seeing that red. But his whole point was you see what you're looking for. You get to a point where you made your mind up already. Okay. You see what you're looking I'm for. I'm kind of thinking that you're going to get so back I'm around. I'm spinning back guy. to the machete guy now. Yeah, I yeah. think that was the issue is he saw some things that didn't align with his expectation of having a full blown, fully handmade custom knife from Andy Roy. And because he was already seeing that red, he's seeing something that isn't necessarily an issue or a problem. And it's that, that so it kind of spun up. To I that couldn't I tell. For, I, I looked at the email and the pictures yeah. and this, you know, he's showing, you know, the, the blades are made in El Salvador. So right. there's, they're, you know, they're not surface ground. <laughs> Leah says, hell no. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. She's the saying, mullet. I can't get, oh, the no, yeah. not the fentanyl. She's okay with the fentanyl, but she's not the okay mullet. With okay. the, well, she's okay with the trafficking. In the yeah, yeah with we're, fentanyl. we're going to traffic illegals dead. and fentanyl. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's okay. Just no, no mullets. mullets. Okay, no mullet. all right, all right. <laughs> I got to make myself look unappealing when I get to prison, baby. I mean, <laughs> so, so, so listen, if you have to, if something happens to her and you just go to selling fentanyl, yeah. that's when you can grow the mullet because she doesn't I, have yeah, to say so anymore. Yeah, once, 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 <laughs> once I've switched over to full-time fentanyl dealer, that's right. And, uh, the hairstyle doesn't matter anymore. She's already gone gotcha, at that point. It doesn't gotcha. matter. So I, I looked at the pictures and he was like showing things, uh, you know, these are not surface ground. Right. Uh, it's it's a knife this freaking big. And what do you mean by surface ground? So everybody that doesn't know. Well, know. I mean, it, my custom knives. There are no gaps. There are no right. Uh, the fit and finish is because the part where the handles go on, you, you grind those dead on perfectly balls accurate. flat. Yeah. Right. Right. And you flatten the scales before they go on, so right. everything so meets perfect. If he wanted to pay for a machete that I was, that I was surface ground um, making to the quality specs that I make a custom knife and it's this big, he's going to pay $1,800 for the machete. <laughs> yeah, and, and sorry, machete. but yeah. uh, that part I thought was ridiculous. He's showing like gaps and this yeah, yeah. and that and the other. I do do a little test at the shop and I smack the shit out of them on the flat of the blade to see if there's a buzz. And if there's a buzz, that they're just there's not a crack in the cinched. Steel. Yeah. There's, 
there's not cinched down quick and tight enough. Oh, gotcha. Some, okay. Something else is loose. And if that's the case, uh, <laughs> we got a whole <laughs> bunch of comments coming in. Um, if that's the case, then then I can address it at the time. But they're not made to have perfect fit and finish. I, he was I, talking. I don't know what this means. <laughs> wow. But, uh, let's wow. go to the next comments. Nice. If he elaborates a little bit. Bugs, and Bugs yeah. in my urethra. There we go. I got a mullet. I got a mullet. Well, he, he brought it back. I'm okay. not sure where All the right. other ones came from. Some of them. Yet. Okay. Big, long, black, curly mullet. At first, All right, then. now when I, I read the urethra comment first, yes. and then the and other thing, so when it was thing. talking about the black and curly, that was what I'm I saw at first. I was, so I was a little I was a little, a little personal, but. I, I, the, <laughs> There's none to bite off not, anymore. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I, uh, and if we were going to do that, we would just straight not, up sell it to vaccine yeah, companies yeah, yeah, if yeah. we were going to get rid of our force. So, so, so the, the, the rest of the pictures I thought were ridiculous. And then the one where he was showing down the spine, the camera was off uh, to the side just a little bit. And right. I couldn't tell if it was bent or not. But I've or never, just tilted. Yeah. I've never seen one of the machete blades bent, bent yeah. or take a bend. Certainly we don't ship them and you out. Could, and you could see what I was talking about. It wasn't like an exaggerated. It wasn't like a... No, no, you no. Know, no. There was no if, sweeping. If there was a bend, yeah. it was just a little right, small bit of bend. But right. uh, not I've, a never, I've never seen one of those. Certainly we don't ship them out that way. Right. Um, and but, if we do, it's, it's probably Allison's fault. <laughs> no, no, we don't ship them out <laughs> that way. Um, but... I've just I'd never heard of that. Yeah. So the bend is my my biggest concern. The rest of those expectations he had of getting a giant custom knife for two hundred fifty you know, bucks, two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> yeah. is yeah. you know ridiculous. Well, and another you know another issue Sorry. that makes it worse. This goes back to the whole you know you, you want to see red so everything's red. Yeah. Um, I, I mean this is not the only place we we've come across this sometimes sometimes with with gun leather issues and something like that like a. a one of the laces will break or something. Then all of a sudden the whole thing must be terrible because it just, you, you get that expectation of right. uh, that expectations unmet by one thing. So you start nitpicking right. and making up. It's the best things. machete in the world. Even, even 100%. that bent one more yeah. than likely that, that tool is going to function, function, yeah. function. And if he was to send it back, you know, there's a satisfaction guarantee on all Fiddleback Forge products. If you don't like it, yep. when you get it, send it back. Yeah, um, we will refund your purchase price. Right, right, right. And I'll take that machete and put it into use and use it for the rest of my life, yep. and there'll never no be a damn problem with it. Yeah, yeah. But I'll still refund. Yeah, well, I was going to say you in know, just, unused condition. Yeah, you, know, you take it out of the box. You don't like it. Something got whatever. Right, right. I yeah. can't guarantee what happens during shipping either, people. No, I mean, no. <laughs> well, and that was that was where I was going with it. Was he's he's from Canada, not a knock on Canadians. Um, but a knock on the Canadian government because they have changed things where our customers from Canada, which we deal with, you know, on the fiddlebackoutpost.com all the time with the, the gun leather. Now we do a good bit with Canada and um, the import taxes that they charge now. And it's like we can't change customs forms and, and yeah. lie on customs forms. We yeah. have to put what it actually is. Um, but they're getting hit with. You know, they're choosing UPS because it's the cheapest shipping option and the most reliable, by the way, if you're in yeah, Canada. by far. Um, but UPS charges a brokerage fee on top of the tax they collect, and they're not expecting that extra money. And this goes for anybody international, but Canada did not used to be an issue because they used to ship. When you shipped USPS, it would, it would hand off to Canada Post, and they had some deal worked out where there wasn't an import tax if you shipped in the, into Canada Post for whatever reason, but right. now there is, and then that transition of USPS handing it off, well, it gets stuck in Miami for a month at a time. You know, you're gonna wait, and then you're like, "Where's my, where's my box?" It's like, well, it seems to be vacationing in Miami right now. Nothing we can do about that. But UPS is cheaper and more reliable. But you get hit with the brokerage fee, and they're definitely gonna collect the tax, and we don't know what that tax is. So that's every country. So I, I think that was a contributing factor to him as well. He was like, well, I paid, you know, this much for it. And then I ended up paying all this tax and everything too. I love so when everything people must be a problem. from other company countries, countries yeah. um, complain to me about the duties and taxes that they, <laughs> that they elected in. have in their country, mm -hmm. which has nothing to do with me. Right. Um, and I'm not going to keep up with 200 and something different rates and, collect that and handle that. I'm like, we can't do that. 
That's just, we're too well, small. That's ridiculous. You're responsible for where you live uh, right. and your tax situation there. I can't, I can't control that. You know? right. so, as a knife maker, there are things that are out of my control. <laughs> and the tax yeah. rates in foreign yeah. nations yeah. and even here in America, for yeah. the most part, is out of my control. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's see. We've got a, it's not a custom knife. It's made to be used by question for you. And that's he right. is correct. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a user knife. Uh, you can't. Well, it's a hard. I, it's use. a handmade thing yeah. that I'm that I'm putting together and making by hand. I regrind the whole thing, and to to really expect it more than just a toughest shit, unbeatable, unbreakable, yeah, really high performance tool. Uh, to expect more than that is for sure is your own problem. Yeah, for sure. And then and then he he also commented. I pulled it up a minute ago, but. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, Canada is a tyrant right. government right now. They, they right. you know, they're passing a law right now where you can be jailed for free speech issues that you yes. post online. Yep. You know, they've taken ministers to jail during the COVID thing for this, that, and the other. So I, I'm not responsible for Canada. I got enough right, problems right. here in America that I'm disgusted with yes. because of that same left-tarded politics. Yes. Yeah. So, and we we don't have to expand. Love your knives. There we go. Thank you, Lamar. Thank you, You're Lamar. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, speaking of awesome thing, I don't know how to transition okay. from this, but we'll. I, I'm going to fake it. <laughs> yeah, hang on. I probably have like a sound or something. We yeah, can. We need that. There. Oh, look at that. Now we that sounds that's that's kind of a that's good how one. you're transitioning. That was, that was a good that was a good well. guess because that button could have been anything. <laughs> he needs a big long blonde. I, wig I actually now. meant to. Uh, <laughs> I actually meant to introduce you like oh. when we started and do like a. I just forgot, you know, to be like, "Hey, I'm Robert with Fiddleback Outpost oh. Knife Outpost." Here's Andy Roy with Fiddleback Forge because I was going to introduce you and then. Oh man, I like that. I forgot though. I, so, I need a pin that does that. Yeah. I yeah. think every guy needs a pin that just sort of claps that cheers for, for him. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, especially in the bedroom. Yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah, for you real. Just reach over and slap the nightstand <laughs> yeah. and, yeah. and just. <laughs> oh, that's a million dollar idea. There were like that's men, the men best would two buy that. I've ever seen. <laughs> men would buy that for each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's not gay. Oh my god, I love that idea. <laughs> hmm. So the thing we were transitioning into. Oh, that was the wrong one. No. What's Track Rock? Okay. It starts tomorrow. Okay, you Track are, you Rock are is prepared. tomorrow. So all of you guys that are posting there, you should be coming to Track Rock. We For are sure. going to the Woods Mountain Hammer In Party of Georgia. It's twice a year. Georgia. It's in Blairsville, Georgia. It's gorgeous there at a private campground. Um, I've got my car. Already. It is the most beautiful campground i think i've ever seen oh, yeah at least at least anywhere around here in the yeah southeast. It's, it's pretty it's cool it's pretty good they got 700 acres it's in the mountains in the morning the mist hangs down and you can't see the peaks of the mountains it's just really cool yeah and it's i in love the it valley. there and so i've got my car all packed up i got my new tent that attaches to the back of the forerunner and my mattress in the back of the forerunner it's gonna be cold it's I got electricity there, so I got a heated blanket, and I'm ready to go, man. I'm excited. I've been excited about this for weeks. I yeah. woke up last night thinking about it at three o'clock in the morning, and just couldn't sleep after that. Yeah, it seemed it seemed a little a little excessive to me with the because uh, you were talking about a heated blanket and a heater. Oh man! And, and you're already inside the Forerunner, and I think it's only going to get down to probably fifty. No, it's in the thirties. I don't know if that's me or. I think that's me. I There's think that is I can, you. There's nothing I can do about it from over here. Yeah. I'm just going to have to listen, listen yes. to it, Frank. That's why yes. I don't bring it in here, but I was trying to... Uh, there's Lamar to, says that's a beautiful area. Yes, it is, Lamar. You should come. It's this weekend. It's free to the public. They got lunch on Saturday. All you got to do is... Uh, 800 miles is nothing. I got guys coming here from, from Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm-hmm. So Yes, TJ that you guys uh, met. Oh, let me uh, just check my phone. I asked him yeah. if they were on the road already. Yeah, so they're coming for sure. So TJ uh, that was on the podcast, I think, three episodes ago that was the first official student in um, oh, no. for <gasps> Fiddleback University uh, came in and was they're on the podcast. Coming. They're not they going to make not it. Coming. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing. Oh, no. So anyway, they won't make yeah. it. Greg is uh, under the weather. No. And uh, 
TJ's been handling the whole business. They're not going to come. I'm I'm so bummed. Yeah. This happened right on the show. Do you have a noise for that? Um. <laughs> you got it. Oh, was there that the right go. one? That's that pretty right good. One? That's pretty yeah. good. And so when, right. when I drop well, a, when I drop a dad joke that doesn't hit, I've also got. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Man, you are you are getting it's, good it's, here. Um, don't don't jinx it. All right, all right. Dude, well, I can come up dude, with some dad jokes. Do now. not mess this up. I love that shit. <laughs> I love being a dad. You can oh. do dumb jokes all day. Oh long. man, my son loves loves that he hates him so much. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So then we I saw this. Uh, eight hundred. Yeah, eight hundred miles is not that far. Yeah. Come I mean, on. it's too far come for me. I wouldn't drive it. Like, eight hundred like miles for ten hours, maybe. I wouldn't drive eight hundred <laughs> miles for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Even a really great beach, I'd be like. Mm. Yeah, maybe not. Well, maybe not. It's super fun, Mister yeah. Question for you. So, so in, ca- in case you don't know, I, I did link down in the TJ and them are really gonna miss a good time. Yeah, we've for got sure. we've got stuff lined up they can't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you just made up on the spot to make them feel better. Oh yeah, <laughs> free knives. It's gonna be crazy. Oh man, they're gonna miss out on all the free fiddleback knives. Oh, well, hopefully, so uh, TJ. Hopefully, you guys are still coming to the survival weekend. Which Memorial is Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend and uh, Dominique's birthday. And I think I may have something purple. Because hmm. somebody's a, color that she likes is purple. As an incentive for y'all to come. So I guess Greg possibly. just doesn't need to get sick anymore. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I, I, I wasn't even going to bring knives, but I was like, ooh, TJ and them are coming. So right. I packed a roll. All the Blade Show knives free, are in my car. Yeah, free knives. And I'm up, to, I'm up to like seven or eight knives for Blade Show. There so. you go. And they're preparing ahead of time. Betty nice Badass ones. knives for Blade Well, these Show. are Hell Betty Badass yeah. this week, too. Oh, yeah. So Track Rock, in case anybody doesn't know uh, what it is, it's a hammer-in event at this campground. Right. And they have this giant barn on the property that... Uh, they set up with forges on the inside. Usually, what probably six forges. If I had to maybe, five, six, maybe even more. Than and then that. there's outer buildings that kind of perimeter of the barn, yeah. and they set up different forges and they coal fire forge and all different kinds of stuff. Anybody um, that has the equipment is welcome yeah. to come and set a forge up for are there a little yeah. area of. And usually, I think the there's public. usually about fifteen or twenty little areas in various spots all yep. over the place. There, kid friendly, family friendly. Oh yeah, uh, unlike this show. But <laughs> what's not family friendly about this show? Know. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of not family friendly. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you. Didn't me, and Lily, uh, me and Lily. Me and Lily. Lily's so this, your youngest one. Lily's my youngest daughter. She's 17. But um, I saw this pennant. It was on Facebook and it said, be kind. And it had a little part that you pulled out of the bottom. And at the bottom it said, of a bitch. <laughs> so I sent her that picture. She wants that real bad, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. I love that kid. <laughs> Your poor future son-in-law. Oh man! Both of them. I have trained my daughters to drive whoever marries them freaking crazy, <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit back and laugh and watch, <laughs> instigate, <laughs> probably drink too much. Yeah. <laughs> Any gun shows that you bring your knives? I'll let you answer that. And I know what my Lamar. I have not. I've n- I've actually never attended a gun show with my knives, um, mainly because I think I would spend all my money. Yes, you for sure would do on that. Yeah. guns and ammunition. Yeah, I'm a freak for two fifty seven Roberts. Yeah. So if you find if if when when I find it, I basically buy everything I can find that is two fifty seven Roberts. From, yeah. So I. I from, <laughs> I've got a reloading press and everything, so from bullets to powder yeah. to ammo to brah. Yeah, I can tell you, like, I've done um, a small gun show before where we've had knives there. Those just aren't, they're just I, not. I hear from other knife work. makers that they're, they're hit or miss. Uh, yeah. that sometimes they really score big on, you know, a yeah. gun show where the table's 150 bucks, which would be great. Right. Um, you know, Blade Show, the tables are 600 yeah. or so. So I think you the know, only the, the only hotel two rooms like three hundred a night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wind up losing money, but it's uh, easy to lose money because you're spending you spend so much to attend any of these shows, right? Any of these shows. But I think um, the two that I would think about anyway, I don't, personally for for me to go, yeah. um, Shot Show would be amazing. 
but I, th- I think the cost is so prohibitive because you'd have to sell so much to justify the cost of being there because it's so big. <laughs> And I don't, I don't know. And it's far away. It's having never away. been, um, I don't know that there's a lot of small companies doing right. a shot show. I think this is well, for, Rob. For, well, Rob with Exotech does it. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, so which he's he's a kind of a more of a manufacturer, pretty giant facility yeah. with multiple brand names yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. else going yeah. on there. And, but I think he was doing it even before he did um, the Lionheart guns. By the way, if you want to check out an awesome gun, our yeah. buddy Rob uh, Lionheart yeah. is the name. Lionheart of the Industries. Yep. Yeah, is and there, Exotech fire starting equipment yeah. is awesome. Which is we we've got that that on <laughs> on the outpost. Uh, with not the Lionheart firearms. Yet I might as right. well. I might yeah, as well, might get, as well give that a shot. Band anyway. There, might as well. I I, I own a Lionheart Industries nine millimeter right. uh, pistol, and it is the most innovative nine millimeter, you know, double yeah. stack pistol that I've ever ever had in my hands. The action's the smoothest. The 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 double the double action trigger pull is right. totally innovative and predictable and. It blows, Smooth, blows me away. So no, Lamar, I've never done a gun show with my knives, um, and that's basically why. I think they're hit or miss. Some sometimes you cost knife, uh, knife makers <clears throat> will sell the shit out of knives at yep. them, and then other times they won't sell anything. And then uh, on top of that, I would spend all my money. Yeah, I'm totally into guns. So yeah, I think I think the other one I would consider. Rob told me about this one. Um, he attended. Um, is CanCon. I don't know if you've heard about that one. It's down uh, near Savannah around Richmond Hill, Georgia. So it's it's relatively short distance. And it's basically uh, all weekend they've got this faci- this outdoor facility property set up to go and shoot anything you want with a suppressor on it. Oh. So they've got like all the suppressor companies That's and everything cool. are there and you just get to go shoot. Yeah. And it's CanCon. It's, yeah. it's put a can on For your, anybody out yeah. there that yeah. hasn't shot a rifle, uh, or a pistol with a suppressor, it totally changes the dynamics of shooting. Uh, it's way more pleasurable because yeah. there's not this loud bang. And you don't have the um, percussion kicking back in your face. But, but it also much. just really eliminates a whole lot of the recoil. And, oh, my God, I, 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 love, I love shooting suppressed, yeah. suppressed weapons. Game. I mean, yep. Changes the game. And then... Uh, and for those of you shooter ignorance out there... Um, it doesn't make it sound like a James Bond movie where it's like doop doop. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> it's still kind of cracks and sounds like a report. It's just not. It's not. It's, it's not, not a nearly the same decibel level. Yeah, yeah. James Bond, they do it in the other room and nobody wakes up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's no. not what it's like. So. No, you still hear the mechanics clacking too. <laughs> uh, Lamar loves suppressors and L O L. Yes, I think he's laughing at the. Oh. Shooter ignorant people. <laughs> and that there. was the gun show question. <laughs> and, uh, true. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, very cool. So anyway, I do have seven knives already done for Blade Show. I, I don't know how many I'm going to bring. you said eight earlier, so I'm going to call Seven or eight. Okay. I don't. I, All right, you're guessing. Seven or eight, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds to me like you're I brought. They're in. They're actually one. in the car. I kept one last week, and I made a sheath for it. Did you see the picture of the sheath? No, I have not. It's sexy. I made a sexy sheath, and I had... um, Which you don't normally do. I don't normally do it, but the one that I kept was a bush raptor, and so the bush raptor is not one that I could find an off-the-shelf sheath for that I... You know, it's not like one of those $30 pop sheaths that's going to handle a bush raptor. There is a Diomedes industry sheath that fits it. Well, those are, you know... I might as premium. I mean, if you're afraid of of having a good one. (laughs) <laughs> no, I made a nice sheath. It's not some, you know, you know. I well, don't want to get a big head like Diomedes. Yeah. I but. mean, if if only <laughs> if only your shop was in near some place that had leather, you know. If only you had that ability. I think Amy commented. We'll throw it up there. Yeah. Uh, Amy says both of those shows are super expensive to set up at, but they would be cool to attend. Yep. She's checking. Well, let me know when they are, Amy, and we'll go together. <laughs> There you go. Uh, we had a total fun time at Blade Show, uh, Texas. Uh, me and Amy and Leah yeah, shared, yeah. A, shared a hotel room, so we just had a great time. Very cool. Yeah, she's she's so easygoing, and that probably helped you stay out of trouble a little bit. I don't you, know. You said, I think you said this, you were being pretty. You said you were being pretty good this time. Turning over a new leaf thing and trying to get in better shape. <laughs> yeah, uh, is more responsible than that. So I'm not going to go giving some woman credit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even if she deserves Especially it. Especially not, and Amy. you know, one I'm not married to. No offense, Amy, but I'm not married to you. You don't get credit for me losing weight. <laughs> yeah. And you got to give Leah credit no matter what. No, she badgered me to lose weight for years. <laughs> <laughs> it finally didn't work. It finally worked. <laughs> It didn't fine. work. No, it was her all along. It, <laughs> it was finally Sarah worked. at Soul Bender Leather <laughs> that asked me to be in the Naked Knife Maker calendar, which got me to lose some weight. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not the same when it's your wife asking you to get naked for something. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get it has real. To be somebody else. Somebody else you is get like real intimidated. Yeah, you get naked. And you're like, okay. You've been with one woman for twenty-seven years. Some new woman wants to see you with your clothes <laughs> off. Man, give me a minute. <laughs> I got. I got. Give me about six months. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a little time. <laughs> <laughs> In about six so, months. <laughs> that's how that went. <laughs> Shall we talk about knives? I guess if you want okay. to. Okay. You know. <laughs> small to big or big to small? How are we doing it? Let's well, go I mean, small to big. Let's go with small because we right. talked about being naked. So, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> The runt. <laughs> we'll, talk, that we'll after, talk about Andy. the runt first. So the small knives at Fiddleback Forge are on a tear right now. I am, <laughs> I am really having a, a fun time watching people just dredge up old old posts. Listen, uh, from that, you. That question for you is uh, he's laughing about you being in. I don't know if he's laughing yep. because the idea of you being naked in a calendar. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, I don't know. Or what else? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, that's why. That's why I'm getting into shape. <laughs> probably good. <laughs> there, so there's probably. And like, I haven't been for 27 there's, years. There's probably like <laughs> three <laughs> that'll give you a run for your money. Yeah, there's a few, but yeah. that's it. That's yeah. it. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Uh, the small knives. I mean, just there's there's guys just popping them up. Yeah, They're yeah. catching the pocket ninjas. They're catching the talon. Yep. We know when we've made these in the past, they've sat around. The mosquito. I had a guy, can you still make the mosquito? And so the I happened. A tiny, tiny, it's, it's tiny so knife. tiny, it's, so, it's so insane, little. yeah. So I I had a guy ask about that this week, and I had three hanging on the board, ready to go. Yep. So the mosquitoes are coming. Uh, the talons are coming. I got those. I got 10 pocket ninjas. Yeah, I'm even, I'm even rocking the... Uh, the little, the little Esquire today. The Esquire. So Esquire. I don't know if that one in focus yes. or not. But. I love yeah. the Esquire. But anyway, this too. one is a runt. It's a, it's a 8670. Uh, it's full thickness tang. It's got Westinghouse scales. And these, these Westinghouse scales are really a, just a pretty creamy. And the inside has the, uh, has the, you know, the, um, aging on it and it's just brown and I burnt the front of it to kind of add a little bit of texture a little bit of stuff to it you can, you can smell the Westinghouse Westinghouse yeah. smells terrible when, um, you, when you use it when oh you grind my god on it. It, it gets all over you um, regular Micarta dust has a I don't know how to describe it but Westinghouse Micarta smells like an old horse stall mat Really, with the sw horse sweat in it and everything else, it is it is totally totally different. Give it a uh, give it a sniff. Uh, it's actually going to make me sniff it. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of worried about it. It's weird. Westinghouse Micarta. It has kind of a. It has. It reminds me of something else. I can't. I can't place it. See, I don't get. I don't get. But I get where you get the mat because it's kind of a rubbery. Yeah. Almost a. I don't, it's a, but this is really a beautiful oatmeal thing. I got this from like, Eddie like Ray. Yeah. Um, I think Eddie Ray has a bunch of this stuff. So if you need any of this, yeah, Westinghouse is beautiful super oatmeal colored Westinghouse. Uh, the person to get it from is Eddie Ray. Um, but this one, this one just came out real pretty and I've been having fun making the small knives. I've always liked making the small knives. Um, and they're, like I said, I got people texting me and sending me pictures of small knives. And I yeah. really love that, by the way, guys. I, I really respond to that. If I see you guys pulling up year-old threads, you know, uh, I, I respond. I, I try to respond and change what I'm making. 
Right. What you guys want to want to see is what I try to make. Yeah, go ahead and show the next one. I'm going to try something if everybody will hang with me to maybe see if the knives will show better. Mm. And uh, But just keep talking while I do that, while I screw this. Mm. I told you we can't go through a single episode without me screwing something up. Well, don't. Don't so, change anything right now. Everything's going well. No, I need to show these knives. Andy. Oh man, we need Tell to do this. So this one, this one's the F two. Uh, this has vintage linen micarta. It's a uh, naked or what do they call this? Uh, commando scale set, which means there's no liners on it. It's got nice um, aging on the inside, and then I've got a. Um, uh, Vintage micarta pin on the quarter inch pin on the front. Okay, so try to hold it up for that camera. Down, hold it down right. No, a little up. Just doesn't want to refocus. Yeah, I tried. I tried. See, it didn't work. I tried. I tried. Well, got to work on that. I'll give you a C minus there. But anyway, uh, a for effort. really, really gorgeous vintage linen micarta with a vintage pin. 8670. It's an F2. One of my favorite models to make. I just love the grind on this knife. Dylan used to say that knife has a funny grind. And it isn't easy to grind. Um, this one I got just right. Uh, so I like that one. Um, having the single, the single big vintage mm, pin in the front. Yep. Um, super clean. That yeah. micarta, I, I just saw these for the first time, um, literally two, as I was putting them in the tray two minutes before we went live. And, um, that one really struck me. I kind of missed my old F2 and that one's, it was Osage, Got a bunch, but that I, one's I ground out a whole bunch of F2s. So nice. I really love making those. Yeah. So, and, and so the, do you want to tell the story how the F2 was born, how the design was born? Mm. It was it was from another knife. Oh, it was a hiking buddy, and it was something wrong on the back of the steel, and I had to just grind and grind and grind. And when I got done, we had an F two. <laughs> you were like, "This is actually works I really well." It. I yeah. love it. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, they do look really good on the screen right there, though. Yeah, they a little, do. A little too so much, they, little they too much glare, see. but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, just the end hands not working. But, All yeah. right. Next up. We got a loner. It focused perfect. Look at that. Oh, don't jinx We got a loner. It's got uh, curly maple, beautiful blue curly maple with blue and white pinstripes on it. Racing, Racing stripes. stripes. Uh, this is A2 in the tapered tang. Uh, God, I love this model. I carried yep. this model for a long, long time, as you all know. But last week, I made myself a bush raptor and a sheath to go with it. Bill is going to start cutting the sheath patterns, by the way. And you guys will be able to buy the sheath patterns as sort of a DIY kit. And I will be able to knock out, once he's cutting them, that's the really the part of sheath making yeah. that drove me out of it because it's all wrist work, right. the cutting the leather with the razor knife. Um, it really hurts my wrist to do that. So he's going to cut them on his... Beautiful machine. and uh, It is a beautiful machine. Yeah. So uh, you, you guys will be able to buy these ready to be made. Um, and if, I will, if you I will want be a DIY to, project. If you want a DIY project, go with your knife. And um, <laughs> question for you. Your knives look, look bad, <laughs> even if Robert can get the camera to focus. Dang. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that I can't get it to focus. I think it's he more means that it bad, like good. Yeah. Not like, bad. He like said. Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> He said, he said, never, never, never look, look bad. Look bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll put it back. I appreciate it. Your that. knives never look bad. Yeah. Even if Robert can't get the camera to focus. Appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, you can only I expect mean, so much from Robert. I feel attacked. <laughs> I, feel a little, I feel a little attacked. It's, uh, you know, I feel a little attacked. Well, it was him. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in good fun. All, all right. All right. So next up, we got a 8670 Handyman. I got a bunch of Handyman cut. The Handyman's been yeah, one those of those are super popular yeah. uh, things people They've have been always been popular. talking yeah. about a lot lately. Um, but this one, 8670, full thickness tang, black canvas micarta, and a red beauty mark pen. This is a base price knife, so um, so is the F2. And, well, a hiking buddy. That is the F2 that with the vintage micarta, though? 
It is vintage, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not. But this is just regular black canvas micarta. So, so this so is that a one you didn't lie about. Base price <laughs> knife. So full height grind. Man. It's just something about black micarta I, right and, against yeah. steel. I mean Well, that's a very dark black micarta too. Whereas a lot of um the black micartas tend to look a little gray. That mm. one's that one's pretty dark. I like that. Well, lately I've been using the vintage blacks and they are grayer. They kind of yeah. lose some lose of the color. black over time, I guess. But uh that one is jet black. So there's there, you know, there's four pins in the front of the knife that you Can't really see. have yeah. to look carefully to see. Well, one thing's for sure, they're not gonna see them on these cameras no, the way no, they're set up. No. Not gonna happen. Ah. No. No. <laughs> When I go on Joe Rogan's podcast, you'll be able to see him. Oh, yeah, Jamie, Jamie's a little more talented. Yeah. <laughs> Brian says his handyman gets used daily. Love hearing that. Brian, send, yeah. send some pictures. Post them on Brian, Fiddleback. Uh, uh, Brian is the one that's been sending uh, suggestions on the podcast, which I very much appreciate. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. Thank you, Brian. Um, has been very helpful, although I'm, I'm not mm-hmm. quite always talented enough to pull off mm-hmm adding them in right do we are getting them done but i try I, you know it's, uh, uh, my Still, check, keep, my checklist is already four in. pages long to get this thing going it's a, it's pretty pretty crazy yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy uh, i don't know yeah. i think you're doing fine really. i mean and then i like you just look at then you. you just look at how many buttons are on this thing and that's just one page so yeah it's uh it's something i kind of oh, like yeah, nerding yeah, out on this yeah. stuff though to be honest with you that's so last Pretty but awesome. not least, we have a Bushcrafter Senior. This one's pretty spectacular. It is 8670 steel, so tough as nails. Um, it's got a beautiful hammered texture along the spine. This handle is is uh, bolstered, a natural canvas on the bolsters, and the back scales are natural burlap. And it is pretty. It's got it's got a thin white pinstripe around it and a white beauty mark pin. Really pretty Gorgeous. knife. Bushcrafter Senior is just a. I think it's a cool little do all knife. Big, I wouldn't say it's kind a of a little do-all big do all yeah. knife. Yeah. I like all but, all uh, three of the models of the Bushcrafter. The re- the regular, which is very similar in handle, size, and shape, but just with a four inch blade. This one's a five. Um, mm-hmm. And then you've got the Bushcrafter Junior, which is hike and buddy size. Love that one too. Yeah, that's that's one of those models along with the Bush Hermit that just works in every size you've made it in. It just yeah, it just works. And whether it's a small EDC or a general purpose or straight up Bushcraft knife. So let's throw up the comment from Brian there. He says the sounds are a nice addition. Thanks, Brian. He really needed a little confidence boost. There you go. A little cheering. I'm, I'm a little cheering. It. That's the bedside I'm, thing we invented. I'm, Yay! I'm kind of Yay! <laughs> Yeah, that that's what's on your wife's side of the bed. <laughs> that's it. He's done. <laughs> and we out. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> and it's over. Oh boy. Yeah, very much. So anyway, um <laughs> Cypress Creek. Oh, very look cool. at that. Cypress Creek. Hell yeah. That's a good That's, that's my buddy good, Jared. That's a good first <laughs> first. Got his name right. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty sure now. Usernames are tough, man, because everybody has the different usernames or company names. It's like well, it's hard enough we, to remember. His table names. was right beside mine at Blade. See, Show Brian Texas, Morgan made it very so. easy because it was just Brian Morgan. Yeah, and I knew that was probably Brian Morgan. Yeah. Well, I was told when I when I started naming my knives Fiddleback Forge um, that there must be something wrong with the knives because I didn't use my name as the brand name, but. No, well, you put AR I, on. There. I thought it was, want? I thought it was ridiculous to to call it Andy Roy knives. Right. I I just didn't want to say my name that often. I guess <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. I mean, <laughs> well, in the, I'm the, not Bob Loveless. Well, back in the day, <laughs> you know, you, so. you did at least put your name was on a lot of the knives. Right, so right. Was, I was putting, was, you were I was putting, Andy putting Roy, two separate yeah. marks and spending twice as much time marking the knives. And as twice as much yeah. opportunity. But at, but at first, I was calling them Andy Roy knives, and then I think somebody dramaed out, and I was like, you know what, f this, and I changed yeah. it to Fiddleback Forge. Yeah. Which you know the the recluse spider is kind of an important thing in my life. So. Yeah. 
Well, I kind of feel like we've we've been able to piggyback onto a, a an apparently a famous skater. Apparently, there's a skateboarder oh. named Andy Roy, or, or yeah. some kind of X Games <laughs> kind of guy named Andy it's Roy. A, it's a famous crackhead named <laughs> Andy Roy crackhead. that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> that is not yet in the fentanyl yeah. business. <laughs> yeah, he make he make prison food online <laughs> <laughs> and imports illegals. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. 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 So we we're supposed to have uh, one of Brian Morgan's uh, suggestions uh-huh. was was we, we seem to be on this uh, bag of dicks awards. Oh yeah, we got to give out we, the bag. We, of... do, we do have it there, but mm. he did pick up on the fact that he thinks you destroyed the bag uh, last time by oh. eating a by, couple of. Well, them. no, they've been open for a long time, Brian. They um, were just closed up, but because when I gave them to my wife, she couldn't wait to try one. <laughs> So I don't know who to give the bag. The, yeah, the, 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 oh, they're popping out everywhere. Well, I, that this. was what I was going to say. Is, that one's is, broken. Is, it's uh, just a pair of it's nuts. Just, it's just, uh, oh, God. It's castrated. Dicks everywhere. Um, yeah, that was what I was going to say. They're all over the floor. I don't they're, know who gets, They were in the knife tray the other day. I don't know who gets the bag of the, the dick award this week, but uh, I will say I'm so upset and disappointed with TJ. Maybe I think he might have to get maybe it. TJ gets the little dick this week. A little green dick for St. I Patrick's mean, Day that just happened. I mean, come on, guys. What the hell? What oh, the hell? Man. What the hell? When something you've been looking forward to for weeks and weeks. Yeah. And then your friends don't come. Let's see if I can get it to spin like a top. <laughs> nope. No, not really. Dead but it's dick. pointing at Robert, so so I have to. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I have to Just kiss at this point, oh, but I'm not this up one's for it. At me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we should have a little races. <laughs> That's how we should we should open the next one with a with a, with a tiny dick race. I'd to actually like to to if I had a lot of money, I'd like to make my car look like a big giant dick in Atlanta oh, to like go the, down uh, the highway. No, do you remember that SNL cartoon they used to have? The Saturday Night Live cartoon? <laughs> no. It was, uh, God, what was it called? Somebody help me out. It was, um, God, it was like, it was like, it was like two overly gay characters and they drove their, their Batmobile kind of vehicle was a, was a giant penis. And uh, they had like giant cod pieces in the front, like over exaggerated. <laughs> it was freaking hilarious. I don't remember the name of it though. That was back um, when that show was funny. Back that was in the back day. when it was yeah. funny. In the back 90s. when, yeah, back when Chris Eddie Murphy Farley, was on it. That was after him. That was oh. so. That was Chris Farley, David okay. Spade, Adam Sandler. Still, those days, still pretty funny then. Yeah, very much nowadays. So. It's Ambiguously gone. gay duo. Thank you, <laughs> nice. Brian Morgan. That's exactly who that was. The <laughs> ambiguously gay duo. That made my whole day. <laughs> Made my old day. Oh. And then uh, we missed a we missed we, a comment we, from Amy there. Yeah, there's Amy. What about female makers who may have a name change at some point? I don't know. I don't really have any kind of sympathy for that, Amy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I guess you need to put a dash. I guess in you that. would just change your signature on the yeah, knife. I think maybe just put a hyphen on it. <laughs> That way, if that ends badly, you can just scratch right through Let's it. Let's consult the old dick here. <laughs> oh, man. Signs point to nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. So the ambiguously gay duo, the characters. Now I'm so I'm so happy he's here. Like, yeah. Providing thanks, this, Brian. Um, that was support. awesome. Ace and Gary were the Ace and names. Gary. I gotta find one. Of those I just videos. think in Atlanta, we'll totally if you were driving copyright. around in a giant yeah. phallus, yeah. It would just be funny. Yeah. Like if somebody did something real crappy, you could have it like squirt all over their car. Shoot, shoot white foam <laughs> Like you had one of those car wash nozzles. <laughs> and then the sound. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, I'm, I'm guessing. Nope. 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 No, that's not it. There nope. it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I don't have them labeled. Traffic <laughs> moron. <laughs> Then we would know who to give it to. They yes, were to, yes. for sure. Well, I messed up our uh, our, our. On shot the side, there, it so could say could honk if you know. like dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh. you drive through certain parts of town, you're going to get Fuck a yeah. lot of honks. That's right. 
Damn straight. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Ace and Gary. Can you still do uh, gay accents or is that like British accents that's and probably, Asian accents yeah, and you just can't do that shit I guess anymore. it's cultural appropriation. Oh, no. <laughs> no gay accent either. <laughs> Nothing. Can't do anything anymore. Oh, shit, Can't balls. do anything anymore. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. I kind of hate well, this new society. Yeah. We used to be able to make yeah. fun of everybody. <laughs> now we're supposed to feel guilty and ashamed all the time. Maybe we should give the bag of dicks to society at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Society gets the bag of dicks all right. <laughs> this week. You know what we could do? We could ship one of those tiny dicks in every order that goes out Monday. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's no? not do that. You sure? We'd the run out of watch? dicks. <laughs> well, I mean, it would take a while. There's a lot of dicks in that bag. There is an excess yeah. of dicks There's, around the place. We have excess <laughs> dicks around here. We need to get rid of some. <laughs> oh, we don't need God. all these. We don't need all these. We don't need all these. Well, and we don't need all the knives either, guys. So you can just <laughs> yeah. buy the knives. I'm going to make more. I'm you, you can making, just, them, making you them all the time. You like can a just crazy head thing. on over and check out the photos since the, the knives didn't come in focus. Not right now. This the preview is not up right now. It'll be up Friday morning. Knifeoutpost.com slash preview. And then you can buy them at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if we put them up like we tried to do before the machetes. Knifeoutpost.com slash Friday. And, of course, you can have all this fun for one or two days in a row hanging out with Mr. Andy Roy. That's right. By going to Fiddleback University. Dot com and signing up for one of Andy's amazing classes. I'm excited to see when someone f- signs up for the the one day knife making experience where you're just going to come in and yeah, that'd be we're cool. going to kind of kind of just watch me knock one out. Yeah. This is how it happens, and then you get to take that knife home with you and woohoo! Yep. yep. Well, they get to do they get to do the part that's the fun parts. The, the shaping and the grinding without, yeah, without let, all the, the yeah, stuff that's not as, it, that's more tedious. So, yeah. 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 Sound, so as, cool. sound as good. Sounds good. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. This was the uh, sharpest Y'all have a great week. We're going to have show. fun at Track Rock. And yep. for Hope. those of you that aren't coming, you don't get to have all that fun. <laughs> TJ sucks. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not TJ's fault. Oh, man. But we're still blaming him because he was he was here on the podcast and yeah he was you know sick. had had Greg decided he was not going to be sick I don't know if he could decide that or not I don't think so he could have came and been on the podcast and talked hopefully about he's his. well soon and he gets to come to the survival weekend very much of course so. in April is the Georgia bushcraft weekend as well I'll be there with my awesome new tent setup rig <laughs> fuck yeah That's what I'm talking about. That cool redneck setup. Leah is not coming. <laughs> she, <laughs> I keep telling her, can you come? Are you going to come? You want to sleep in the back of the forerunner with me? And she's just, I don't think she's really interested. She doesn't, no. she doesn't, uh, she doesn't understand that the forerunner is like bear proof. It's, there's a lot of benefits <laughs> to being of, in the forerunner. Cause you know? Georgia bushcraft has yeah. a lot of bears running around yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. I don't think they have any bears. They don't. Probably not. But it's pretty Democrat proof too. Since I'm inside that, that is close to University of Georgia. Runner. There's probably a few with a of those shotgun. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> shotgun may not kill a bear, yeah. but it's pretty good on Democrats. And, <laughs> and then Memorial Day weekend. All righty, yeah. Memorial yeah. Day weekend is going to be a fun weekend with Kevin. Well, it's definitely worth an 800 mile drive. Question. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it. Uh, we're going to learn everything about survival. Can we take student, student loans? loans? I think Shopify does have. Yeah, they, yeah. there's a way. So to there do is payments. a stu- there yeah. is a we have student loans at Fiddleback University sort of, through yeah, Shopify. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you can make payments. Yep. Yep. And, yep. And call I mean, Joe Biden. Maybe he'll pay it off for you. <laughs> Shit, he's <laughs> just pay he's for crazy it. about. It. They think you're going to vote yeah. for him if you pay off your your. This that's actually the perfect plan. You go yep. you go to Mexico, you cross over the border. They give you a cell phone. And they give you money, and then you can take that money and buy your Fiddleback University with it. Become, become learn to be a knife maker with me. Perfect. I even speak Spanish. <laughs> yep. I, I know, like... I don't believe you. Uh, I, know, <laughs> I know many words. I know many. I have the best words. <laughs> I know all the, all the good words. All three like of those habla words. and beer. I mean, uh, cerveza and baño and... 
<laughs> those Cal- in that order. Calvo <laughs> Maricon. Oh, and- <laughs> see, now you're going off. <laughs> now you're just going to upset people. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> they might go home if you I don't go that. around trying not to upset people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's definitely not your strong suit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. You can get a lick with any name you LLC? want. LLC? Is that LLC? LLC. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was I lick. Know. I don't It might be lick. I don't <laughs> know. We were talking about the bag of dicks earlier. I was going to Google that shit right away. <laughs> <laughs> get me one of these licks. <laughs> might have fentanyl in it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so Just yeah. tie it all back. Just could circle be fentanyl, back. fentanyl on all these dicks. It probably could popping be. popping out like that? They may. <laughs> it's coming out all over the place. Dicks are always popping out. Dicks everywhere. I think that's a, I think that's a great place to close this out. Yeah. Y'all have a great week. Uh, we'll come back to you guys, and I'll probably post a little video from Track Rock and let you know what you're missing out on and... You're going to wish you were there, and I can't help yep. that. I gave you a lot of warning. <laughs> he tried. He tried. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. See you next week. Hasta luego. See? Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs>